Dadab refugee camp. When you hear those words, what images come to your mind? Most likely the images of famine, drought and poverty. Would you associate technological innovations with Dadab? Probably not, but you are greatly mistaken. A team of four filmmakers took a journey to Dadab and were shocked to find an oasis of innovations in the vast arid county of Garissa. We'll soon be having um, tablets. Hall 8 uh, is run entirely on uh, solar. We serve a population of 19,600 beneficiaries in a three days. What began as a camp to accommodate 90,000 people is home to over 400,000 refugees today. Living in makeshift temporary shelters, thrown over 50 square kilometers, life in the camp is hard. However, UNHCR and other agencies such as Norwegian Refugee Council have been doing a lot to transform the lives of the refugees as well as the host communities for the better. This includes rolling out innovations that have catapulted the refugees into the digital world, a world that have eluded them for many years. Our first visit was at the food distribution center, where a biometric system has reduced incidences of fraud in distribution of food. UNHCR has implemented a biometric system to assist in distribution of food within the camp. With the biometric system, each household has a representative whose biometric details are stored on the database and is required to swipe their thumb on the fingerprint reader in order to access food rations for their households. Each beneficiary has a card which is given to a clerk at the food distribution point. The clerk checks whether the card is valid and then the beneficiary proceeds to swipe their finger on the card reader. If the records match, the clerk punches the card and gives the beneficiary a token. Here you are seeing this is one of the beneficiaries and uh, who is sick and because of the biometric exercise she is supposed to come and thumbprint in order for her to have access to her food. And usually when they are uh, heavy or pregnant or when they are sick and uh, maybe unable to come to collect the food, the SOB according to the standard operating procedures, they are allowed to have an alternate food collector. We also visited a borehole in Hagadera camp, one of the camps within the Dadab refugee complex. The borehole relies on solar powered generators to draw water. Uh, this uh, borehole 8 uh, is run entirely on uh, solar, uh, but we have a standby generator uh, which can be uh, put into use in the event that uh, the solar system uh, fails. So with this innovation at borehole 8, uh, NRC uh, being the agency which is uh, undertaking a water uh, uh, program in Hagadera, we are able to save a uh, good amount of uh, fuel which is uh, saved from the generator which are used in the other boreholes uh, in the camp. Uh, um, the amount of money in USD that uh, is, has been able to, uh, we have been able to save is around 12,500 12, 12, USD. Uh, from the fuel that has been saved. This borehole is able to supplement another borehole uh, that uh, is able to produce around 300 cubic meters of water uh, per day in, in the camp. Uh, water supply in Hagadera uh, is uh, relatively uh, good with uh, every individual receiving about 24 liters per person per day which is way above the minimum uh, uh, standards as based on the sphere handbook of 12, uh, 15 liters per person per day. Norwegian Refugee Council runs a robust ICT system that ensures all vocational training centers known as HEP centers as well as secondary schools within the DAB complex have connectivity. Now teachers are able to embrace uh, technology in education uh, we have um, exchange of um, <coughs> learning and teaching materials either on our file servers or uh, via emails or Skype. The refugee community through internet access in the YEP centers have also been able to reunite with their families either back in Somalia or um, those ones who've gone for resettlement in various countries um, in the world. UN HCR NRC, with the support of Vodafone Foundation and Safaricom, have launched an ambitious program that will see students within the DAB complex have tablets with connectivity to the cloud, allowing them to access learning materials. We'll soon be having um, 
tablets for the students across the four YEP centers in the next few weeks so um, they'll be able to access uh, our wireless networks and for convenience purposes they can always move around with their tablets and um, share experiences we will upload content on the tablets the, um, the teachers will be able to share lesson notes uh, with the students and the students can be able to read at their convenient time we're talking to different partners for the content the content will mainly uh, rely on the Kenyan curriculum so we will also talk to the Ministry of Education in Kenya to uh, leverage the curriculum that they are digitalizing so that the content that is available so what other children are, are learning at school in Kenya we're going to try and bring that onto tablets and, and computers and um, we're talking to other partners such as World Reader for example who have a, a whole list of books available um, to Wikipedia and <coughs> other other content providers celebrate the World Refugee Day, there are many innovations that we can borrow from the dam. From the tablet project for kids to the biometric system in food distribution, truly there are many more lessons to be learned. Salim Bakari, African Film Center.